welcome to Saber Quick Tips. Today's lesson covers price quote record, or PQ basics. The price quote record, or PQ, enables you to store pricing and ticketing instructions together in one PNR area. Storing the fare helps you identify the fare you have quoted to your customer, and it is used for future reference and viewing purposes only. Stored fares do not affect the ticketing price, so it is important to advise passengers of potential fare increases and that the fare is only guaranteed when ticketed. You can create PQ records from the last itinerary pricing response or with the RQ shortcut while pricing. To take full advantage of the price quote functionality, add all applicable pricing and ticketing qualifiers to your format. When you are ready to issue the ticket, you only have to enter a simple format. You must price the itinerary with the WP format. Here we are adding the validating carrier and the form of payment as secondary qualifiers. When you obtain the pricing response, type PQ. The system will automatically save all the information you added in your WP entry to the price quote record. You can also create a PQ with a shortcut entry by placing the RQ qualifier anywhere in your pricing entry. After the PQ record has been created, a banner displays in the PNR. This banner displays when a PQ record exists. If you delete all the PQs, the system removes the banner at end transaction. Type display PQ to display the detail of all existing PQ records. This banner displays to remind you that storing the fare in the PQ record does not guarantee the fare. The PQ number always displays since you can store up to 99 price quotes in a single PNR. Unless otherwise specified, the PQ defaults to adult passenger type. Here is the segment information. The signature line includes the pseudo city code, agent sign of the last agent who updated the information, the time and date when the PQ was stored. Price sys indicates that the Sabre system returned the pricing response. When the airline creates the PQ, it displays a different price indicator. To issue a ticket using the price quote record, type W, cross of Lorraine, PQ, and the number. Even when you have only one PQ stored in the PNR, you should add the number so that the system uses the corresponding PQ. If you fail to do so, the system does not use the PQ. Best practice is to add all the necessary qualifiers to the PQ. So when you want to issue the ticket, you just need to type this simple format. Sabre reprices the itinerary based on the qualifier stored in the PQ. The PQ qualifier must always be the first qualifier following the W cross of Lorraine. Be careful when combining ticketing instructions with an existing PQ record. You do not need to re-enter qualifiers that are already stored in the PQ at the time of ticketing. However, if both the ticketing entry and the PQ record contain the same qualifier, the data in the ticketing entry may overwrite the information in the PQ. Let's check an example. Here, I'm adding a form of payment in the ticketing entry, which differs from the form of payment included in the PQ. The system issues the ticket using the form of payment in the ticketing entry, thus overwriting the PQ form of payment. The Saver system automatically creates one PQ per passenger type. In our example, there are two passengers and two PQs. In this case, PQ number 2 reflects passenger type child. Let's imagine that Simon is a child. To issue his ticket, type W cross Lorraine PQ2 N2.1. If any itinerary changes occur after the PQ record is created, an indicator displays in the PQ record detail signature line. At the time of ticketing, with this itinerary change indicator, you will receive an error response and will not be able to issue the ticket. You need to delete the PQ and create a new one. Fares are subject to change at any time, and the ticket will issue at the current rate, which may or may not be the same as the fare stored in the PQ. If you activate the price quote retention alert in your TJR agency settings, the system compares the price retained in the PQ against the price being ticketed. If the total ticket price matches the retained PQ total, no warning prompt displays and the ticket is issued. However, if the total ticket price does not match the retained PQ total, 
the following prompt is generated. You must link a PQ record to a name at end transaction, or you will receive this error message. You cannot overwrite this error. You may correct the situation by using the Link Passenger Name formats listed on the Format Finder page QRXFO018 or creating a new PQ in the PNR, which is linked to at least one of the passenger names. Best practice is to have the passenger's name in the PNR before you create the PQ record. This helps to avoid any issue related to name linking PQ records. For more help on this topic, check out some of our other training and support references. You can access quick references, personal trainer tutorials, and virtual classes from the Agency Services website under the training menu. Thank you for your time. This concludes the lesson on PQ, Price Corp Records Basics by Sabre Quick Tip. Please give us your feedback by answering whether or not this video was helpful.